You're not good at taking compliments, are you? How many girls have you called gorgeous in the last week alone? Few. Mm -hmm. That was more to do with productivity. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So did you? Did you go through your database until you knew every sin I'd committed? Or every misdemeanor I'd ever been caught for? Well, maybe it's the ones you've never been caught for that matter to me. Mm -hmm. Miss Vice Coppet. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You got any idea how much I want to take you home and pin you up against the wall? Sorry, Jason. I can't handle this without you. Is this your idea of not disturbing me? No, I'm sorry. Jason, Bit of business. Jason Grant, boss. A very naughty boy. Ring a bell? What is it? Talk to him about the statue when you know who he is. Jason Grant. I didn't know he had anything to do with this investigation. But you know what he does for a living. <sighs> or did you think it wouldn't matter? Wouldn't be a problem that you're shagging a ponce. How long have you known? I mean, presumably it wasn't his opening gambit. Hello, love. I make money from brothels. Oh, really? I work in Vice. I didn't know at first. I worked it out. Nice bloke, is he? Buy you Belgian chocolates and all that. Bloody hell, Lorraine. He's done time for beating the crap out of his toms. Or didn't he tell you that? He told me he'd done stuff that he was ashamed of. And what he does now is a source of glowing pride. I tried to walk away, but I couldn't. I see. Love, is it? I'm touched. What will happen to me? Uh, well, we'll have to suspend you. Start the disciplinary. I don't know yet. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, don't go anywhere. Problem? Ah, oh, she's a bit emotional. Oh, you know us. Always a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> anyway, Frank, I just wanted to congratulate you. The job's all yours. 
Well, as good as. Just a tease to dot. Which means you'll soon have all this to yourself, Joe. I hope I'm invited to the celebration. Ah, thank you. Six months ago, Vice was just one problem after another. Now, it's a flagship. Results, integrity, well done. It's a great achievement. You do blow up the home office. Leave her alone. Yeah. Bye now. Flagship. Integrity. <laughs> I might have to buy you a drink. Yeah, oh, come on. Minimize the damage, Joe. And only for a song and a dance. It's a bit of a cock up, but deal with it quickly, make the thing look ship shape, it'll all go away. That's that. Come on, what's the problem? Just give her a slap on the wrist. No, it's not a bad idea. She's a pretty girl, bright future, lapse of judgment. I don't know. Uh, give her a desk job then. VCR and a stack of dirty videos. Do you know Jason Grant? All other things being equal. A fish worth frying. And what isn't equal, Frank? If it ends up being more embarrassing than it's worth. Bury this for the sake of our careers, is that what you mean? Me? I wouldn't dream of it. No way. No way. I'm not having that bastard make a twat of us. We've spent weeks trying to find out who runs that chain of brothels. Last night, the answer fell straight in our laps. Seems to me we use this fiasco to our advantage. That's what this is about, sir. Mind your own business, constable. How the job's a done deal. I know I fancy you wine bar where we can celebrate in private. Can I tempt you with a slow, comfortable screw? Ah, oh, all right, then. A herbal infusion at the cafe across the street. So when did it start? Um, a, c a couple of months ago. Three. I I just um, met him in a bar. It's it's been hard working here. It's sometimes not exactly the friendliest place, and he was nice. And He's not nice. He's one of the nastiest out there. GBH, immoral learnings, drugs. Has he offered you any drugs? He's a clever bastard. Hard to pin down, hard to put away these days. Learns from his mistakes. So, here's a thought. No disciplinaries, no suspension, none of that. What if I give you a chance to redeem yourself? You carry on seeing him. Get him to tell you all his darkest secrets, which you pass on to me. You're asking me to sleep with him in the line of duty. <laughs> what if I say no? You won't say no, Lorraine. You'll say yes and pray I stay in such a forgiving mood. It's all right for you, Frank. The next to no time you'll be away from all this, the rest of us can explode in all our faces. I keep telling you, I'll take care of you. How? Huh. Seriously? I will work something out. The job's a string of conferences, receptions. There's more opportunities for networking than you can imagine. Trust me, Kirsty. You walk into a gathering of the great and good in a half-decent frock, they'll be queuing up to hire you as a PA. You're offering to pimp me. You in Whitehall doing your thing. But if you think I'm prepared to just hang off your arm at parties, 
I'm not. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Burning ambition. If Joe goes down this road and it gets nasty, vice unit in scandal shock, again. That'd be the kiss of death for anybody who's ever worked there. Um, what do you think we should do? What if this Jason Grant tells her he doesn't want to see her again? He's not going to want to keep going out with her if he knows she's gone all double agent on him, is he? Kirsty, oh, I've never met a woman like you. All the women I've known have been soft and pliable or hard-nosed bitches. You make me soft and hard all at the same time. Me, this old cynic, this old bastard. What a team we make. Cole can bring you up to speed when you're ready, yeah? Do you want me to tell him everything, sir? No. Can I ask about Lorraine? No. I'll tell you everything when it's time for you to know. So. Can I help? I doubt it. It doesn't go with the job, you know. Well, it doesn't have to closing down and treating everyone like an enemy. Well, I'll let you know when I'm ready for the group hug. Oh, Chief Inspector Vickers, Vice. Is there a problem? Oh, no, we just want to chat with you. By your girlfriend. It indoors would seem preferable. Sure. What is it you want? To help you, my son. To put it crudely, she's going to carry on shagging your brains out whilst picking up any dirt you may have forgotten to clean up behind you. It's highly unethical, in my view. What makes you think there's dirt? Well, if there wasn't, she wouldn't have agreed to spy on you, would she? My boyfriend, a villainous crooked punce. There must be some mistake, she'd have said. You're a bit young for the cloak and dagger, love. <laughs> if you want a dodgy way at the top, I thought all you'd have to do is unzip a few chief constables. What's this old reptile promised you? It makes me angry, if you must know. Sleeping with the likes of you, it's out of order. In fact, it makes her worse than you because she's supposed to be one of the good guys. She should be punished. Instead, she's given exciting undercover work. To coin a phrase. Let's just say, if you were to dump her, treacherous little girl, there'd be nobody spying on you. And so, nothing could go horribly wrong. Well, yeah, for you, that is. Oh, I see. So, uh, someone somewhere is wearing your knife in his back. You think you're so smart, don't you? Hmm? Both of you. Jason Grant, Petty Thief, Pimp, GBH, God knows. Toe rag scum. That's all you ever see in people. Now, you spend so long scraping the gutter, you think all life is, um, dirty old beer cans and, uh, turds. Well, what did you expect me to say, hmm? That bitch, I never want to see her again. She comes near me, I'll brain her. Sorry, don't work like that. Poor kid. She's gone out of her mind.
You don't want me as your enemy, Mr. Grant. Well, if I were you, I'd think very hard before you throw my offer of friendship back in my face. I've got enough friends, thanks. She's young and naive, Frank. She won't tell Joe. She'll think the world's conspiring against her. And anyway, that was all macho bravado. Yeah, what if he beats her senseless instead? You'd better pray he doesn't. You sure you don't fancy coming up yourself to see what's on offer? You look like a man with the weight of the world on your back, man. And it's heavy. Go on up. I'll wait here. Does this work then? Depends what you want, darling. What would it be you're looking for? Oh, you know, just a uh, basic MOT. Call it 70 then. Up front. You give that to her then. I've heard about people like you. You here for a shag or a broken nose, mate? Well, you know about that, wouldn't you? It wasn't him. Last night, Punta was getting very, um, unpleasant. I got to run for help. By the time they got here, bastard had... My boy started it out. Won't lay a finger on me again. Good man. I was just thinking, I don't have many friends here, do I, in this office? I'm kind of busy, Kirsty. So if I had some information, something that might be of interest to you but hurtful to the friends I do have... Information? Because if I'm to do the right thing here, sir, I'd need to know what could happen to me, what it's worth. You could always make new friends, Kirsty. You've got a promising career ahead of you. No need to feel as though it's hitched only to one star. Vickers just pay Grant a visit. Behind your back. That's a pretty serious accusation, Kirsten. Oh, you've known about Vickers since before I have. But you chose a quiet life. And I can't blame you, I suppose. But you knew it couldn't go on forever. Who the hell do you think you are? I know him better than you do, Joe. Is that right? Yeah. He thinks I'm his sidekick. He's prepared to do anything. He'll sacrifice anyone to get what he wants. You're expendable. Believe me. Hello, there you go. Is everything OK? Yeah, sure. Weird day. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Come in. did you break today, then? None so far. I bet if you try, I can do you for absurdity. Dirty little cock girl. Oh. Mm. I thought 
thought you should know, that's all. Believe it or not, I don't want to see you undermined. And I don't think the range should be put at risk like this. What do you mean? Vickers can't trust you, but I can. That would be a turn-up. Right now, you should be worried about the rain, boss. How long were you going to go on deceiving me? What, did they batter a confession out of you? Did you go back to them telling them what a clever girl you'd been? They just saw me with you, that's all. You agreed to spy on me? I'm a police officer. You've got a decider, ain't that so? Decide who side you are. You took your time. Hope you weren't sampling the goods. Leave it at me. No, I think she sussed me up when she realised I didn't want a blowjob after all. <laughs> she mentioned Jason Grant? Uh, not by name. To be honest with you, it's not such a bad setup about that. That's a pint. Vickers is up to his tricks, then. Did you know that? Were you in on it? Is this some part of a plan to punish me? Well, are you OK? I'm fine. What are you going to do about him? Vickers. Every day in this job, blokes who abuse her, beat them up, treat them like livestock or something, but they stay. The girls don't run back to daddy. Maybe daddy's worse. Maybe I didn't want to know that. 
Maybe I could have gone through my life only knowing that in theory, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you believe in loyalty, don't you? Or well, is that a bad thing now, is it? Not to Inspector Robinson too. I mean, you're, you're very loyal. Everything falls apart otherwise, doesn't it? Yeah. But only with you there's this whole homoerotic thing going on. I actually love him. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> Good. It's Lorraine, isn't it? The way on your back. Come, Stuart, I'm not a complete arsehole. I can't keep a secret. You want to talk about it? <laughs> you don't want to know. I've seen the pits, Lorraine. Believe me, I know what they're like. Does your boyfriend run several brothels? Right. You suddenly realise how deep in you are, and you don't know how to end it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, that's not what it is. I wish that's all it was, but that's not what it is. <sighs> Can I have a word, Frank? Oh, I'm actually quite busy, Joe. Yeah, I bet you are. I shouldn't go straight to the Chief Super's office and finish your fucking career! Don't make me count down from ten, Frank! Have you been spying on me or something, Joe? What kind of danger did you put Lorraine in? No more than you'd put her in already. Do you even care? You're up to your neck in filth, aren't you? Up to here! You want to calm down, Joe? No more, Frank. No more! All this... All this... Revenge, murder... Copper sleeping with ponces! Drug addicts, for Christ's sake! Corruption, who knows what? It's got to end! So, you're going to run to Daddy and bugger the consequences? I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> oh, will you? I thought snapping the cuffs on some bloke who's been trafficking underage girls and raping them, that that would be job satisfaction. <laughs> no, you never get satisfaction. And you can't tell them from their smell. And they're not all wicked anyway. Yes, they are. Sometimes you think they're all right underneath. Just trying to make a living. Just falling into this. It's never true. Trust me, Lorraine. However beautifully they smile at you, they're evil through and through. I knew a copper once who found out that his boss uh, not me, of course, it wasn't me. Was up to no good. And he blew the whistle. Nervous breakdown later, he had to resign. You think you can scare me? Like some little rookie? <laughs> God. No. Now, when I look at you, Joe, I see a man who's exactly where he wants to be. And when I'm out of your air, the vice be all yours. Just like I've always said. Just what you've always wanted. Well, maybe I can speed that up. Do you think they want another scandal? First chapel goes off his rocker. Then me. Joe, our hero, they'll say. Your subordinates too, eh? They'll put up uh, your picture in their, in their lockers. Can you imagine? How lonely that will be. I've had enough of this. Interesting question about heroes, isn't it, Joe? Can you be righteous and alone? No one cheering you on. There's walls of silence and resentment wherever you go. The only family you've got turning its back on you. The police, I mean. Because you don't see your ex-wife and kids anymore, do you?
Gerald. Yeah? Do you, uh, fancy a lift? Yeah. Sorry about the mess. I don't get visitors often. I don't know why I'm here. I do. One of your officers had an affair with the Ponce, but it didn't occur to you it might be a cry for help. I'm not a bloody psychotherapist, Cheryl. I thought she could handle it. You knew perfectly well she wasn't up to it. She'd shown you up, let the side down, so you thought you'd rub her face in it. And perhaps not everyone has their emotions under control like you do. It's not as if she's got feelings for that bastard. Well, you know that's not true either. I have to make decisions, Cheryl. This is not a democracy. What is it? I think if you let one little chink of human kindness under your metal plate, and we'll all stop respecting you. What are you so afraid of? Same as you, Cheryl. This job. You're bombarded with it every day. Everything's sick. What most people don't know exists and don't want to know. We all know the problem, Cheryl. Let it in and it kills you. You shut it out in it. And it kills you. It's Vickers. He tried to strike a deal with Jason Grant. So we're chasing this alley geezer, right? We come round the corner, look over the road, bang. There she is, having a romantic pasta. I don't know what Joe's up to, but I'll tell you what, if anything happens to her, if she gets, if she gets hurt. You know, if it's any consolation, the girls say he doesn't beat them. They actually say he's, he's a really nice guy. I'm glad I transferred to Vice. My life's so simple nowadays. Yeah, bundle of loves. I'll oh, get us a drink, mate. Tonight I want to get pissed, pass out, and forget everything. Vodka. Double. You? Yeah. Pint of vodka. <laughs> I just can't work out where it ends. Does anyone else know this? No. Kirsty and Lorraine. He's right, you know. Vickers. If I give them another scandal, they're not going to thank me. I'm out of my depth here. How are you doing? Things any better? She's in love with him. You do understand that. Whatever love is, she's in it. Lorraine and me, not Kirsty. Joe knew we'd been to see Grant. Well, I didn't say anything to him. Grant must have told him. And it's nothing Joe can use anyway. A ponce makes an accusation against a fellow inspector and Joe believes him. <laughs> Bit of work and Joe will come out of it pretty badly. Oh, first my whole career for you, Kirsty. You do know that, don't you? Well, I've got my job. We want to see Grant for your sake. You know, I think I've let my concern for your future cloud my judgment. And I'm grateful, Frank. But there's no need to get all panicky. Nothing rattles you, does it? Ice Queen. You know what I think? What? I think when the ice finally melts, 
It's gonna be like molten bloody lava. What I wouldn't give to blow your volcano. I'll blow yours if you blow mine. what he does. We don't want to be old, looking back, thinking what careers we had, we let this wanker walk all over us, do we? Can I count on you, Cheryl? Did you ever think you couldn't? Let's just come up and we'll go. How far am I jumping, Jason? I need to know how safe the landing is. What do you want me to say? Tell me you love me. Jason, everything. If I'm going to do this, it has to be equal. A partnership. Or I'm going to walk out of here and you're never going to see me again. I'm serious, James. What? You think I'm wearing no, a wire? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't let you down. You've got to trust me. I'm not going to let you down, OK?
cases have you got like this? Uh, five, mainly like this, and mostly in this area. All right, Jack. Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. That's the fridge door. <laughs> Who's this then, Jason? Look, Brian, you say hello to Lorraine. It's all right, she's just visiting. You look like you've had an argument with her first. A couple of nights ago, punter got rough. Jason snapped the bastard's wrist. Listen to him, it makes me sound like a right violent nutter. You were a lucky girl then, aren't you? Sorry? Don't screw it up, love. This panther, why did he hit you? He wanted anal, but you wouldn't. He wouldn't pay for it. Derek, my love, how have you been keeping? Oh. <laughs> What's he get for that then? Oh, enough to make his eyes pop, I should think. Have a cup of tea. Something which you later rely on in court. It's hate. you think he was beating me? All of us. All of us living lives of terror because he were like that once. No, he's a real gentleman, I'm sure. Well, tell me this then, love. The other night when a punter was acquainting my face with his knuckles, who came running to help? You lot. Waste the time even asking. At least he's there when you need him. You want to celebrate? I'm taking you to the cleaners, mate. Determined to be a hero, are we? All right. As the Americans say, uh, bring it on. You. Let it go, Joe. No chance. Why fight a battle you can't win? Who says I can't win? You know you can't. Clean the streets of pimps and pornographers. That's your job. However you want to see it, vice is out there. And cleaning up the police force, that's up to someone else. Don't make it personal. There's no cause you have to be a martyr to. And we both know what happens when it gets personal. Be practical. Let Vickers go.
You did very well today, Lorraine. Well done. I did my part, then. My duty. Now it's your turn. chance later, it's been a privilege. Oh, come on, Joe. It's important to know when you've lost. Oh, good morning, sir. Glad tidings, I trust? Not exactly, Frank. Nothing fatal, I hope, sir. There's been a complaint, Frank. Sexual harassment. As you know, we have to take these things very seriously. So I'm afraid you're being suspended from all duties pending the inquiry. Why are you doing this to me? Don't do anything I might add to the charges. Quite a dossier I've got for you, leering at me, trying to stick your hand up my skirt. Why are you doing this to me? What, you think I enjoy being slobbered over? You're just a dirty old man. But you're my partner. You're my partner in crime. My soulmate. <sighs> anyway, Frank, I thought you might enjoy a good kicking. Or is it you can dish it out but can't take it? This will finish me. And it's time someone wiped that bloody smirk off your face. Fine. Fine. Watch your back then, love. 